Welcome back to the channel for another video here. It's uh, February here in Washington, so out enjoying some of the animals here. We got the Luna, my livestock guardian dog here. Hi, baby. We got some new lambs out here, and just kind of enjoying some of the sunshine before we get started in the shop here on another project. So, figured I'd start it out here since we don't get a lot of this nice sunshine here in Washington. But let's head into the shop and show you the new project we're gonna be working on today. So here's the lumber we're gonna be using for this. So this is one inch thick and this is maple. This just came out of the kiln just about a week ago. Um, so I just got done gluing this up and doing a quick clearing pass here. You can kind of see a little bit of the tool marks, but a lot of this is gonna be carved out since we're doing this photo V carve. So I didn't want to take too much. So I just did a really light sanding so that everything's kind of level here. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of nervous about doing this. This is a pretty big project and this is a pretty big investment here. This is a, a $60 piece of wood here. so. I have to kind of go for broke and hope it works out. So let's get everything, let's get the X, the Y, and the Z set on this thing and get this new bit. We're gonna be using a 60 degree V bit and I just put a new blade in it so it's a fresh blade for this carving. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope this works out. So I just got this off the CNC machine. I just took a wire brush and went down through and tried to kind of clean some of these grooves out. I've never done this before, so I didn't know how hard to press or, or kind of how to go with it. So I'm just winging it here. So I just went and picked up some black spray paint. So now I'm going to come through and I'm going to try to follow it about a 45 degree angle across here, do a really light coat, and then 45 degree angle against this way. So I'm hoping to hit all those high and low spots from both sides. So that way when I sand it, I'm hoping it all come together. So hopefully once I start hitting this with the black, it's really going to make this pop because I can kind of make it out, but I just don't know what the detail is going to look like. So we're going to go for broke here. Here we go. <laughs> this sit here and dry for a couple hours and then we'll come out and then we're going to go and hit with a little light sanding and hoping that's really going to make this pop. I'm, I'm really kind of excited and kind of curious how it's going to turn out so I'll be back in a bit. All right, so we're just about finished with the frame here. So you can see I've got these little half inch channels that I've cut down in here so that the sign will actually sit down flush. So I just cut the last piece here for the frame. So now it all kind of goes together. It comes together all nice and tight. Got nice corners on it. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue these corners. And I'm gonna put a small thin line of bead of glue on the back side of the sign just so it kind of helps kind of keep things in place. And then tomorrow, we'll come back through and we'll put some screws in here and we'll countersink them and then we'll cut off a dowel rod so everything's sealed up so the weather can't get to them. And I'm probably going to put the screws probably on the side here and then coming from the bottom so that there's nothing sitting up here for the water to sit on and make them rest because in you know, the Pacific Northwest, we get a little bit more rain than everybody else. So let's get this thing all glued up and then tomorrow we'll get it countersunk and then we're going to start working on the welcome and happy training signs that hang from the bottom.
right, so we got the final coat of sealer here to finish this project up. So this is going to the K9 training facility. So this will be what you see as you're actually coming in the facility. So we have a welcome sign hanging from the bottom here. And I went with white because we live in the Pacific Northwest. It's a little dark here a lot of times, so I'm hoping the white will really stand out. Now on the back side of the sign, since this is two-sided here, we have an identical carving here. This one has a little bit more spalting maple character here on the side, so give it a little different character to this one. And we've got happy training, which you'll see what, this, what they wanted here. So you'll see that as you're leaving the facility. But you also notice that I shifted this one over about an inch. When I glued these two separate pieces up, I didn't want my glue joints to be equal with each other. So I shifted this one over just a little bit so that hopefully those joints has, if anything kind of moves since it's gonna be out in the weather, I won't have to worry about the boards actually separating from each other. So hopefully it holds together. Uh, I got some heavy duty hooks hanging here from the top. As you see, I got some carabiners here. So since the sign is gonna be outside, I actually did put some epoxy on these as well to really kind of hold this thing together. Well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I'll do what I can to answer them for you. If you really enjoyed watching this video, you want to join me for all my other projects, all my other adventures, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you around. Almost forgot. If you'd like to have something like this made, I will put a link in the description for my work email. Feel free to reach out to me. If you'd like to have a sign or anything like this custom made, feel free to reach out. We can collaborate and we can make something. Again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you around.